what's going on guys raven here and i am back after yesterday's exciting finish honestly to the Grown colombia campaign and uh i don't fault you if you don't want to if you're new you know you're just finding this series my channel and you don't want to go back and watch that series because there were a lot of hiccups first three episodes did not actually the first five ep episodes didn't have any music in them at all you just couldn't hear them and uh, I should have checked uh, sooner to figure out how to fix that, but uh, it should be fixed now. And, um, well, I'm hoping uh, if you're finding my channel, finding this series, you're going to uh, like it. Uh, subscribe. You know, I got a few subscribers now. Really excited about that. But, uh, man, I'm just so excited to play uh, as this nation. So if you already read the title, well, I mean, you're going you're gonna to know what I'm playing as. So Italy, for me, you know... I guess Italians might consider, they probably would consider Rome as their ancestors, I don't really know uh, if they descended, the Italians descended from the Romans, actually they, they did pretty much, right? Although there might have been a mix of Germanic people, I don't really know, okay, if you know more about that, let me know, because I am sort of interested. Uh, I do know that the Greeks might not have descended from the ancient Greeks, that's pretty interesting. So the Greeks you see today weren't really the same Greeks of the classical era. Um, I mean, they, they share, they probably share a little bit of traits, but not many, I don't think. I could be wrong about that as well, but I remember reading that. So, Italy, right? Italy didn't really do anything in the 1800s and the 1900s. They got to colonization quite late. Um, you know, Africa, they went to war with Ethiopia, it was a bit rough there, I think. They might have lost, even, in the beginning, and then they had to do another war. Libya, I know they conquered Libya, but, man, they just really did not do that much. And World War One, I, I don't think they really had an impact. World War Two, I'm, like, 99% sure they didn't have much of an impact. I mean, I want to make an Italian nation that all you little nationalists can be proud of, okay? Because, uh, you know, that's what I'm doing here. You know, we played Colombia, and Colombia didn't really have an impact, but in that scenario, uh, you know, if if that happened in real life, okay, let's ignore the Germany in that game, because that Germany was disgusting, okay? But, um, but Colombia, like, they would have had a huge impact on the world. I mean, they were a massive country, 27 million in 1930. I think the population, like, quadrupled since 1930, maybe tripled. So, um, they would have had a huge, like, what, 80 million people rather than 40 million that they have today? So, that's what I re I'm really like. So, hopefully, uh, we could do the same with Italy. Alright, let's, let's, let's get in. Let's dive right in. So, as to Sicilies, we don't get the really cool events that Sardinia Piedmont gets, right? Because Sardinia Piedmont, um, and I only know this from the game, and I'm assuming it's historically accurate, uh, because this is the historical project mod, but um, they get all the really nice, sweet events that uh, let them sphere and take over half of Italy. And we really need to make sure we become a great power, get some spheres, uh, and, and cripple Sardinia Piedmont. We probably want to justify a war, puppet them, whatever. We really need to jump on that as soon as possible, because they're going to get overpowered events that let them take over everything um now the benefit that we have that sardinia piedmont has first off they're not a great power at the start that's a good thing they can't start spearing stuff you know they don't have the prestige we are actually a higher rank than them because our military is a tiny eensy weensy teeny weeny little bit better so uh in that regard we're, we're okay um the first thing that i want to do is encourage intellectuals in Campania. Campania is our biggest state, and then Puglia is our second biggest, which is right next to Campania. The interesting thing about two Sicilies and a lot of it, other Italian nations is they do have good life rating. Rome has a life rating of 45, Turin, 40, a bunch of other states have 40, Milan has 45, Venice has 40, um, Florence has 40, Naples has 40, all of Sicily has 40. Well, no, never mind, that's a lie. One province in Sicily has 40. But, um, Bari has 40, so a lot of good provinces, you know, a decent, um, population 
to work with. Actually a really good population. The problem is it's not all together. So the way we're going to influence that, we got to get some more people. Right? We're definitely not strong right now. So we're going to take the route of colonization. Two Sicilies did not do any colonization, as you as you know. But um, there's this beautiful, beautiful nation down here in Africa that has my favorite resource. Well, second favorite, uh, tropical wood. My first favorite is gold. I don't know where gold is, but um, tropical wood is in this province. 300,000 people in this state. That is awesome. Okay, we need that tropical wood. Tropical wood over here as well. So, tons of tropical wood just everywhere. And actually, um, if we're going to go the money route, we're going to want to take Oyo. So, I'm not going to take Wari first, even though they have, oh, so beautiful tropical wood provinces there. And, um, spoiler alert, in the late game, these tropical wood provinces actually change into rubber. Ugh, I know, right? Rubber. But, um... So this is going to be a good, a good, uh, uh, province place. A good start, okay? We're going to need population. We're going to need these African soldiers to help us. And, um, I don't think we're going to go into the Congo because, well, we can't, I don't think we can justify established protectorate on them. Otherwise I would because they have 700,000 people. But Oyo also has actually more. So even in that regard, Oyo is better. Uh, I, I'm probably saying that wrong. It's probably like, oh, yo. I don't know. But, um... Oh, uh, should we already start with establishing protectorate? I haven't looked at what two Sicilies start with. I've done a campaign before. I also know that, uh, Sicily actually revolts. Spoiler alert. But, um, we'll take care of that. Don't worry. So we have three clipper transports. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get rid of these frigates and commerce raiders because we do not need frigates and commerce raiders right now. The nations we're going to be going up against are not going to be that powerful. So let's set this place as a um, rally point for our ships and start going over there. Okay, we are reactionary party. That's perfect. We can make factories all we want. They're not going to be very profitable, but that's okay. We're going to go down to 50% military spending right now. And education spending. Uh, we're going to go up on tariffs. We're not going to make... We're not going to make factories just yet. Uh, we're also going to go up on administration. We're not going to make factories just yet. We can't afford them. What we need to do, like I said, is... Oh man, we don't. I didn't even realize that we didn't even have uh, piston steam engines. So we're actually, we're actually very far behind in that regard. Um, ooh, that's actually a little bit rough that we don't have pis piston steam engine. Because look, we get 20% mining and farming, and the first amount of uh, techs you get are really good um, for your provinces and your output and how much money those provinces make because it the way it stacks right like you start off with 127 percent if you get 20 percent on top of that that is going to be more than 20 percent on top of that 15 percent on top of that you know hopefully that makes sense I, I explained that a little bit badly but um yeah so okay I want to go for romanticism first. Reason being, we need prestige. We need to get, excuse me, sorry. We need to get rank 8. We need to become a great power as soon as possible. And prestige, prestige this way is going to be our best bet. I would like to get medicine because, as you know, it gets rid of a lot of terrible events. Um, and there's also a chance of getting a prestige event. I didn't even know that was there. If you look at the bottom, there's 10 shared prestige. But um, that's a pretty small chance. And this way, we can get 15. Hmm. 
7200, 7200. We're only going to have time for one tech. First off, let's check. Piston Steam Engine, if we were researching this, would take one whole year. If we were researching Romanticism, it would take until 1839. But we're going to be getting intellectuals. Which will make it faster. If we're going to go to the Prestige route, we got to get this one first. Okay, we're gonna get we're gonna get romanticism. I thought about it a little bit, and we're gonna get romanticism. We're gonna rush that prestige as soon as possible. Try to get rank eight, and uh, and that'll probably be our best bet. Okay, so we're gonna be bringing those armies together, and we can actually start the game now. Crisis. We're gonna keep them locked until 1870. And um, right now we are losing money. That's not good. I was hoping we could actually make money in the beginning. But it seems not. Okay, alliance-wise, I didn't talk about that. We, I, we're going to want to ally um, Austria because... They, France is going to, you know, do everything over here with Sartinia Piedmont, and we're going to use, we're going to want to use Austria to fight France. So let's put that army together. Ship-wise, these are going to be building soon. Okay. Hopefully we actually can start making some money. I know after we take this, this land, wait, hold on. Okay, this is all your Ruba State, so we can... Justify established protectorate. First off, you are allied to Aro and um, a Sultanate. Aro is right here, and the Sultanate is up there. Um, I think we should be okay. I think we should be okay. Alright, so let's just keep going here. Try to get. Did I justify war? Or did I forget? No, I forgot. Yeah, let's start now. Get this going as soon as possible. It's gonna take about a year. Hopefully we don't get caught immediately, but... Um, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty intentional to get caught immediately. You know, you weren't really meant to expand insanely fast during this time period. Like, um... I mean, the world was way more globalized during this time period. Obviously not as much as today, uh, but compared to like 200 years prior to this, there was a lot more opportunities to get your message across. Wait, what, are we suffering attrition or something over here? It's a bit odd. Okay, how many ships did I build here? Thirteen. Let's build two more. Oh, we get cost of spelly acquisition speed. That's really nice because that's going to cut down on the infamy we get. Um, because if we are further into the war justification, then we would get less infamy that way. All right. Well, I mean. I think we'd only get like 10 infamy now, so this is really, really nice. Uh, we might even be able to get no infamy, but knock on wood, I probably just jinxed it. Okay, so 7.5, that's fine. I am fine with that. I am perfectly okay with that because normally you get 15. I think on average you're pretty much going to get caught within the first like 10 days, probably, right? It seems like it, and I, I mean, it's understandable, at least for me. Maybe not for you. But um, because of that, we can get another war justification on whatever we want. All right, so we are at 60, 90 days. I'm gonna start funding the troops, and that general sucks really badly. 26% morale. 
Well, I mean, it's better than no general. Because no general gives you minus two to defense and offense, I think. We're gonna head down over to Wari. Wari? No, that's not the thing we're taking. Um, hopefully we, we don't die on the way there. And we might want to have gotten access through somebody. Eh. What's the worst that could happen, right? We're not suffering attrition yet. So... We don't have a leader, either. Okay, so conservatives are 63% of the country. Oh god, I can feel it. It's gonna be a repeat. War justification-wise, 30 days. We went a bit early. Unfortunately. Actually, maybe not. We might have gone just in time. Alright, we need to go to the Bight of Benin. That's a cool name. And two days. Got there right on time. Let's declare war, establish protectorate. Okay, two prestige we're going to get from this war, so that's nice. March on in. We are at war with Oyo, and that's it. So it actually looks like nobody joined. Calabar. Where's Calabar? Right there. Apparently we... Or they are at war with Calabar. Alright, so we arrived there. Let's take this province first, because we need uh, a port so we don't die out here. And, um... We're actually making money. That's good. Alright. Hurry up. We'll, we'll go on speed forward again. Just for a little bit. We're gonna suffer a lot of attrition out here because it's jungle uh, in some provinces. Okay, so we got a port. We're no longer suffering attrition. I don't think we can repair. Uh, we need a... What do you call it? Um, naval base, I think, to actually repair. So we're gonna have to build one over here. We also might want to build some naval bases uh, already, just so we can get those started. Like, uh, Catania. And that's the only one we can build. Yeah, we don't have any we don't have any colonies anywhere, so we're not like the other good European nations that have naval bases all, already in many different provinces. Okay, let's head over here. And um, they would not accept peace yet. We might just have to conquer everything, which is fine. I mean, this is a pretty simple war. So, hopefully after we win this war, we're going to be making a lot more money. That would be nice. We're going to go for Wari. That's going to be the next province we take. Uh, they can see, they're not going to be able to siege down that province. Yeah, we're going to have to to take this land right here. But things are going okay, actually, so... That's good. That's nice. Administration efficiency is going up even when we're not investing uh, our focus points. Alright, so we can annex Oyo. Okay, there we go. Now we own Oyo, which uh, gives us a ton of pops. That's awesome. And um, we get a bit more army to work with over here. So, Lagos, let's get a naval base. And... Um, we're just gonna go on a on a spree of annexing, I think. Dahomey is not very profitable. Um, I sort of want to head over here into this area because there is gonna be like oil in Brunei, uh, Johor. I probably said that wrong. It's been split up in this mod. And there's a bunch of different states. Oh, there's tropical wood over here. Maybe we will go over to that area. Uh, but Vietnam would also be very nice because they have uh, some good provinces over here. Some, excuse me, some good states. 
All right, but uh, I think we're gonna go with Wari. I don't, I don't think there's any other good African nation that we want to go for. So yeah, we're gonna just fight war because that's a lot of tropical wood. Establish protectorate, 15 infamy again. Hopefully we don't get caught immediately because that would uh, hinder our progress quite a bit. Of course, uh, we might get lucky. I don't know. So. Yeah, the, the Sicilian War, it's a bit scary. Uh, hold on, I gotta check how long we've been recording. 20 minutes, so a lot has happened in 20 minutes. We've already conquered some land, and um, I think uh, I think it's, it's going good. Hopefully Sicily, I don't know when they rebel, so I don't know that, but... Um, I mean, it's not going to be too rough because, well, uh, they, what do you call it? They don't get any troops, they just get to mobilize, which really sucks, so I don't like that Civil War is modeled that way. I, although I think the troops will rebel from us. Oh my god, we have three cavalry brigades. We have one guard unit as well, cool. From Palermo, which is in Sicily, so that's not good, because they might rebel. 11.7 infamy, okay, uh, so we could have had 30, instead we got like, what, 20? So in that regard, we, we did okay. It's going to take a, a bit of time to get this infamy down. Um, Austria is going to be less willing to ally us, but that's okay. And also, if you look... Austria speared everything. Sardinia Piedmont is uh, about to be speared by the French. So you can see the predicament we are in. We have to, you know, conquer these nations and uh, get our money going so we can fund our factories, which of course are going to be um, tropical wood luxury furniture factories. It's going to be awesome. So we have 160 days left until we can conquer Wari, which is allied with the uh, Dama Sultanate. Don't know how to say that. Dama Garam, I guess. And after that, we're going to do a bit of waiting around, I think. Perhaps we, we might head into Vietnam. Although that, no, that's, that's just too far away. That's way too far away. Um, we might demand concession from Bonnie and just take, or from Aro and just take Bonnie, because it has uh, more tropical wood, and uh, tropical wood is super, super profitable. I mean, look at that, 134 dollars. That's insane. Compared to a grain province with 70,000 more people in it, it's making four times what they are. So, tropical wood. If you can't get gold, get tropical wood. Which we could get gold, but... Well, no, we couldn't. I say that. I say that, but we couldn't. Northern Malaya. It would be nice to get this province. Gold is awesome. But... Eh, we're doing okay. Wari, okay. I need to pause. Oh, it's auto-saving. Whoops. Wasn't as efficient as it could have been there with declaring war, but we still got it. Okay. Annex you the wait. Oh, cool! I didn't I didn't know you could scroll over to this actually. But you can see he's going to join the war. Well, it actually doesn't tell you if they're going to join. It just says that they are their ally. Maybe if it says that, they will always uh, help their ally. I don't know. Alright, so let's get on the boat. We didn't ask for access through Benin, but it's okay. Still haven't repaired these boats. And uh, militancy-wise, these guys are a little bit angry. Little tiny bit angry. So that sucks. We might want to fund the, the soldiers a little bit. Get them, uh, get people promoting into soldier pops. 
Right now we're just trying to get 2% intellectuals, and um, that was fast. Alright, so we annex them. More tropical wood. We're going to expand a naval base here. And uh, just stay in Wari, that's fine. But you can go to Lagos. Uh, we are going to build some African infantry who will hopefully deal with whatever rebellion happens over there. And Catania Re Regio di Cala what is that? Calabria? Regio di Calabria? This might be a part of Sicily. It's not. Okay. Well, ah, eh, whatever. We'll just build infantry wherever. And uh, they can all go to Naples as their rally point. Over here, we will disable or enable that as a rally point. Are you building a soldier? Yes, but you're not getting small arms or canned food. Uh, that's because they go in order. So that's okay. Romanticism wise, we are going to finish this on February of next year. So it looks like we're not going to be able to get any. Um, thing that we want in terms of tech we're gonna have to wait until next year or the the year after 1840 because we're gonna save up our research points so that we can get idealism and hopefully we'll get some of the prestige from that technology money wise we're making 70 I don't know if we want to make a factory yet not sure. Civil violence. The high militancy in Abiokuta. What is that? Is that this? These places? Yeah. We can intervene or intervene eventually. Colonial police are trying to break up riots and stuff. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, let's let him lose some militancy. Also some people, I know, I know. But I'm sorry. Just one click of a button. At least it's not represented. At least you can't actually, like, see the suffering that would actually be going on with those clicks of a button. Because that would get a little bit rough. Oh, so immediately we get the 5 prestige. We're at rank 11. That's awesome. Austria, we're going to improve relations with you, and we're just going to have to wait for 1840 before we declare, uh, declare, declare war? No. Pick our technology. Alright, so these African pops, uh, you can go... Let's load you on, and uh, we'll leave Kurasir and an infantry, and another infantry. And you can go over here. Did that naval base build yet? No. But we're not suffering attrition, so that's good. Let's go pick up this army over here, and bring them back to Italy. You're suffering attrition. That's not good. That province is a jungle pop, though, that's why. Jungle pop, jungle province. Alright, so I always click tech because when I see no research set, it's just like a natural thing to do. Let's keep improving relations with Austria and... Hmm. Let's see. We have uh, 16 infamy. We can't do an established protectorate, of course. So we probably do want to take Bonnie and um, hmm. yeah, I can't think of anything else that we would want to take. So demand concession, 7.5 infamy, that's not 25. <laughs> 
if we get caught. That's 24, so pretty close, so we're not going to be able to take any infamy after that. But, uh, yeah, let's do it. Hopefully we don't get caught immediately. Fingers crossed. Okay. I'm going to need to bring these troops over here so we can actually take that. These guys are heading back over. It's going to take them a bit to get back. We're going to build uh, another group of ships. Another five ships. 2% intellectuals in Campania. And we're at 1.4% over here. Oh, we're gonna get minus 25% uh, cost of spelly acquisition speed, that's okay. And... I think we're gonna end the episode here, so... It's been a good episode, it's been three years and we have already conquered two bits of land over here. Italy is gonna be a colonial nation this time, and hopefully we're gonna make Italy great again. I'll see you next time.